Hi guys, so let's now take a look at one of the first methods that you need to be able to use when it comes to depreciation. I've left this definition up on depreciation uh, so we can remind ourselves that it's the reduction in the value of a non-current asset. Of course, that is most likely to be machinery or vehicles, okay, uh, over a period of time. So this first method you need to know is the straight line depreciation method. It's actually really quite straightforward to calculate, okay, so there's not going to be any bother here, promise. Right, so this depreciates uh, the value of the asset by the same amount each year. Year, okay, uh, that's why it's called the straight line method because every year it depreciates the value of that asset at the same amount. Okay, um, to work this out, you've simply got to take the asset purchase price uh, and subtract the actual salvage value. So let's say you want to buy a new van. Let's say that that van is going to cost you twenty thousand pounds. Okay, and you expect to use that van for a period of five years. Meanwhile, at the end of that five-year period, you might be able to sell that given van for £4,000, okay? Uh, so, we can see we've got the asset purchase price minus the estimated salvage value or residual value as it can be known, uh, divided by the estimated useful life of the asset. So, let's take this information and then uh, implement this into uh, our calculation for the annual rate of straight-line depreciation. So we've got 20,000, of course, uh, minus uh, that 4,000 pounds. Okay, so we can see that here we are left with 16,000 pounds on the top of the calculation, which then gets divided by five. As we divide that by five, well, we can see that we are depreciating the value of this asset at a rate of 3,200 pounds per year. Okay, so that is why it's a straight line method because every year for those five years it will be depreciated at £3,200. Uh, now, remember what we said in our previous lesson that this £3,200, of course, will then be deducted as an expense from uh, your statement of financial income, okay, or your profit and loss account if you call it that, or income statement. Uh, so that will be deducted from there. Meanwhile, the value of your actual vehicle after year one, instead of now being uh, 20,000 pounds as it was right now today, having just bought that vehicle, uh, in a year's time, of course, the value of that non-current asset would actually be 16,800 pounds on your statement of financial position. Okay, thus, we can see where this money is going and it's been deducted from that income statement. Great stuff, guys. See you next time.